What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm thinking about getting some breakfast. How's the um the pupusa with the egg? Pretty good. All right, Ty. What 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 pupusa would you recommend with that? Pork, meat, and cheese. Oh, tight. And then you guys just throw an egg on top? For sure, that sounds good. Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Our first spot of the day at Saritas Pupuseria. This is a Salvadorian little joint. And we're gonna start it off right here with this authentic pupusa. I just told them to give me the most popular one, which is, um, I think it's beans, cheese, and pork. All right, so we're gonna cut the egg. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Let's get a good piece. This smells so good. Get some pickled cabbage. Oh, this is gonna be a good bite. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Damn. That's fire. Like the first thing you taste is the fresh masa. If you ever had a fresh tortilla off the plancha, you know what I'm talking about. Just like a plain tortilla has that like strong corn masa flavor. Man, this, it tastes exactly like that, but like crazier with the egg yolk, the crunchy, sour, spicy cabbage, and then the rich cheese. I actually haven't tasted any of the pork yet though, because this one's pork, cheese, and beans, so I need to dig in there a little bit more. But this is fire. Mmm. Damn, that's good. I do taste the pork now, the pork is good very tender and that cabbage is just so good it's like acidic a little spicy adds a lot of crunch it's comforting textures are good you know cheese is amazing with beans you know that combo is just that'd be hidden mm. yeah today we're gonna be trying a bunch of new spots gonna try to make it diverse you know hit like as many different styles of food as possible and, but a great way to start it at this Salvadorian joint. Smacking. The food's authentic. People are cool. We're going to head to the next spot though. I'll catch you guys there. One uh, trio or two I ordered one. Oh, all Please. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we just pulled up to Villa's Tacos. This is a Michelin Guide taqueria and I'm so hyped to try it. I ordered their famous Villas Trio, which is papa con chorizo, and then you got ranchera asada, the most popular meat in a taco, and then the black bean con pollo. All their tacos are on a blue corn masa tortilla, and then they melt the cheese, get it crispy on it. Another thing I like about this spot is they got salsa game. They gave us like four different salsas and these crazy like super dark pickled onions. I got all the tacos con todo with the guac, cojita cheese, and then some sour cream or crema on it. This looks fire. Mmm. It's, it's like so citrusy, crunchy onions. I love the texture of the tortilla. And the cheese on the outside, the crispiness, gives it like a, a different like texture in a taco. You don't really get that too often. It almost doesn't feel like a taco because there's so much in it. More like a mulita or like a a small quesadilla more complex than your average street taco out here in la next taco we're going to try is the asada ranchera asada this is their version of the carne asada taco same toppings same tortilla just different meat i'm gonna put some of this salsa on here i think it's like habanero it smells amazing I'm not gonna go too crazy let's try it out That's fire, but like, <clears throat> that salsa is spicy. Although it has like a little sweetness to it, but damn, the meat in here is so good. Mm. Mm. No, that's legit. Fire. Let's move on to the next taco. Papas con chorizo, which is potato and chorizo, which is like a Mexican sausage. Chorizo is just one of those meats that is, you know, very potent and spice and but let's try this. I'm gonna put some salsa on this one. I feel like this one will go good with the chorizo. Mm. Mm. That's fire. Insane amount of flavor and texture. Definitely on the complex side, more gourmet. 
the toppings and everything here is just like really good high quality i don't know what, which one my favorite is but they're all good in their own way i'm happy i tried and i'm definitely gonna come back it's legit what's up bro how you doing good good thank you can i please do double cheeseburger what do you think about adding the the jalapenos though i think it's good it's good okay i'll add jalapenos appreciate that all right we pulled up to our next spot we're at for the win this is like apparently one of the sma best smash burgers in la it's competing for like the top three smash burgers and they open one here in grand central market so we're gonna try it today this is famous all over la got the double smash cheese with jalapenos can't wait to eat this looks amazing it doesn't look that big but it's heavy i'm gonna take this bite mm. it's a solid smash burger patties are perfectly crispy on the edges the middle is like cooked perfectly it's juicy the pickles are crunchy a little acidic same thing with the jalapenos they're not too spicy but the bread is so soft it's absorbing all like the sauce and juice like look at the caramelized onions infused in the patty the melted cheese with the sauce and then look at the bread it's like buttery it's hitting all the levels of a smash burger with textures flavors and even the size it's good mm. the sauce is really good too it's like a a mayo-y eggy aioli-ish type sauce it goes well with the bread and the patties too man i would have ordered fries too but i don't want to like get too full too quick we got a couple more spots after this i mean i could eat a lot but not that much definitely a meaty burger i'm glad i got the double you could even get the triple really good smash burger i definitely come back our next spot is like right over my shoulder right here it's a neapolitan pizza joint they do like personal pies looks super good i'm gonna get like a, a super plain pie to try the dough and their sauce heard so many good things about them good how are you good would you recommend the pepperoni or the margarita i like both you like both what's more popular probably the pepperoni margarita. oh margarita I'll do the margarita then, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. Have a good one. Got the goods. The, the pizza is straight out the oven. We literally just saw them cook it right now. Everything's made to order, so you know it's fresh. Smells so good. I could just smell the dough already, and I haven't even opened the box. This is a big reveal right here. Yo, that looks fire. Such a simple pie, but it always hits. Man, this smells so good. Let's get a bite real quick. Let me see. I'm gonna pick this slice right here. Honestly, not as charred as I want it on the bottom. It's a little soft. There's some floppage. But let's let's try it out. I think my favorite part about the pizza is the cheese. The cheese is good. The sauce got a good tang. Honestly, if it was cooked a little bit more, it'll be better. Man, but a great tour today. You can make it a day, come out here, try a bunch of different spots. They got everything. There's like 40 something stalls. I see an ice cream joint right here, McConnell's. From, from what I remember, I had that spot a long time ago in Santa Barbara. It's fire, so I'll catch you guys there. You guys do samples? Um, can I try a couple, please? Can I try the blueberry and lemon? Thank you. Damn, that one's pretty good. I'll do blueberry lemon glazed donuts and then the Eureka lemon in a cup, please. Thank you. All right, we're ending the day at McConnell's ice cream joint. This is gonna be fire, I already know. I'm full though. I just ate so much and we have to end it on something sweet. But look at all those textures and flavors. Mm. This is legit. Sour from the lemon but a little sweet from the berry. I love the crazy wild flavors. This one is legit though, I like this flavor. It's heavy on the lemon. And perfect amount of sweetness too. 
I'm gonna try the second one though. This one is the um, blueberry glazed lemon donuts. Look at that. Mm. I think I like this one better. No, that one's crazy. You could taste chunks of donuts in there. Donuts and ice cream are is crazy combo. This little food hall right here has so many good spots to eat. And we barely scratched the surface today. We definitely gotta come back and like hit all the other spots that I missed out on. There's too many here and they're all fire. Amazing day, great food, great ice cream. As always, thank you guys for watching In The Cut. Till next time, we out.